Morning, guys. All right, how's my software portraying me today? Ooh, not that blurry. Mostly here. Unrelated to the real life, but you know, good enough. Okay. Let's figure out well, we know what's on the plate. On the plate is level four missions today. Four skull plus missions. On the plate are heavies. On the plate are enemy uh, assault. Couldn't think of the word. I was going to call them super heavies, but they're not. Good morning, Gorby. Got a couple cool announcements to make later. Really looking forward to uh, sharing that with you guys. All right. So what were we doing? We had brief repairs from one day worth of repairs from last mission. We need to hire. We have one day until reports. We should probably pay the people then uh, hire the people. So we lose one day of training. I think that's okay. And we want to sell garbage so that we aren't uh, paying storage fees for garbage. I think this gun is probably garbage. It's worth a lot, man. You just sell this thing? Do we up the three heavy PPCs too? These things do 80 damage a hit. I don't really like the fact they blow up, but other than that, they seem pretty nice. Zeus's are jam chance with additional damage. Okay. Hello, Scott. Scott, you're bright teal to me today. Did you change your coloring recently? Uh, we don't need a medium rifle. Uh, cockpit basic, goodbye. Combat shields and heat sinks, ECMs, endo steels, engines, a 60, two 160s. There's absolutely no reason we're going to need two 160s. A 175, a 215, a 250. I'm a little bit more inclined to hold on to some of these afterwards. Hello, oh, Hayakim. Makes it very hard to read your name, Scott, so it makes it difficult to respond to your comments by uh, by name. I tend to ignore people in Teal, mostly. Um, two more Artemis 4s is probably pushing it. Maybe. I don't like giving up my headgear. My headgear is special to me. Three FCF standards we can get rid of. Bell fibrous, a couple Guardian ECMs, a couple gyros, heat banks and heat sinks and heat doubles and heat double clans. Jump jets of all flavors. Partial wing system, pirate FCS. Some reinforced armor. Some sensor basics. Oh no, sir. Not for us. Uh, and then ammos. And I'm never selling ammo again. I was wondering if we should up the salvage rights by one and just internally decide that one salvage every mission has to be used for ammo. I just wonder if I can even do that. Maybe that would get around this stupid shit where we have a weapon for 400, like 300 days, but we can't find ammo for it. Which is just, I, I don't know if that's like lore specific, but it seems really dumb. I don't really want to make the, I don't want to make our gear progression faster particularly. Although I have been thinking about like what I would do if I were to play another run through of this. Um, how I would go with, uh, settings to make it uh easier or not easier faster like it takes too much time to get to locations to get to the hard fights i like the grindy element of it but i think if i were to do a second playthrough we would try to reduce it a little bit okay but we're gonna keep this um the only other thing we would sell off is mech components any lights nope any mediums probably not
Yeah, we have one of those, Hakeem. All right, one day forward. Day three to day four. Hello, Baba. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Yes, much better. Thank you. Now I can That's see your name. Hello, Zero Max. All right. Paid people 1.85 million. Doing what? I'm not sure. All right. But we want to hire some people. The hiring hall. I think we're going to take up, Mr. Weasel Cakes. Max skill, reduced injury, starting experience, increase to panic resistance. Click. And I think the other one was, didn't hate bookish. Guide command and spacer. Behemoth. Kind of like them fulfilling two roles here. Oh, command and bookish is kind of two roles. This would be 16 of 16. Maybe we hold one open. Yeah, Dogert, that's the plan. We're going to take some. Uh, we moved to the system specifically for that reason. The system is a four star system, which means with. Uh, Variants of two we could have between five stars and three stars in this location. We just got a new role on missions. And they are five, five, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and three and a half. So expect shit's going to get real here in a moment. All right. Do we start off with casual uh, four and a half? This thing's got... I said eight, six to 25. I think we start off with a casual four and a half. All right, versus the greater Valkyrie. Okay. Oh no, there's no mech manager this morning. We are golden. We mech managed the end of yesterday. So today it's get going. Okay. Start with five. I think we go four and a half. We did a three yesterday which wasn't too bad i mean our 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 mech lance well this mech lance i think our final mech lance is rated a little bit higher okay performance warning what's wrong with our line holder right now oh he's low on ammo we managed the mechs now we damaged the mechs not wrong all right oh we probably have before we do that i think we have barracks level ups i think nobu May finally be a real girl. Oh, she's she's fatigued. All right, uh, 11k experience here. We're waiting on Warlord. Uh, 5k experience here. We're waiting on more called shot bonuses. Yes, Commander. Uh, nothing to be done with that amount of experience. Dust Raker is looking to put piloting up more. I think. Death Crusade. Looking on called shot bonuses. Cold fire, waiting on experience. Care Bear. We need to decide what we're doing with Care Bear. I think it's very likely that we take this skill. So we'll take that skill. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. And then adrenaline. Okay. Did you install the AMS ammo? No, I forgot we got AMS ammo. I have not installed that, but we'll worry about that after. That could be on our I, know, I gotta get rid of some of these sheets. Um I don't wanted that sheet still. I don't think this sheet was very helpful. That sheet was still needed. All right, get some scrap in here too. All right, so on our to-do list today for installs, future space, everyone has nose piercings. Hmm. They always seem kind of okay to me until you like 
get like a runny nose then they seem like they'd be a huge pain in the ass um i guess you could take them out chaff fluid gun ams ammo god that was such a nice find All right, let's go get our. Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. This is the command center. You don't take off your fucking shoes. Get your combat boots on. We're launching a mission. Seriously? Who are these people? And why did I employ them? Okay. All right, we need redshift. We need double tap. Double tap needs a beagle probe. Is that right? Does he need a beagle probe? Do we want to update some, um... oh God, look at this. Look at the bait and switch. There'll be no mech bay this morning, Filthy says. Straight to the mech bay. Ha <laughs> you fools. All right. I think there were a couple of things we wanted to update. JJI is jump jet improved. Which we do not yet have. He's not going to make the fit jump jet improved. I guess with the small patchwork he could. So that needs to remain on there. We need to make chats. We got to fix that a little bit. All right. Beta pulse is good with his name. Are them heavy strong? Uh, we just rolled them out the end of yesterday, mostly. Redshift is golden. Thank you, Nerf. Uh, stream title, I'm gonna do it probably about 11 my time. Uh, Triple P looks fucking golden. Don't get shot, brah. Catapult. The catapult needs a name. And the catapult is the brawlapult, so I think that's fine. Okay. Sniper artillery. Oh, no. No, no, no. 500 alpha missiles. Thank you very much. Medium range. Giant spider. Two guns, one ammo. Is still sadly accurate, unfortunately. We're missing one ammo in this guy. And uh, the double tap. It says he needs a beagle, but I think we got the beagle in, right? Yeah, we did. So... You can just go back to being double tap. These are just little placeholders to remind ourselves of some fitting changes we were trying to incorporate. Yeah. You like the Heliopolis? <sighs> the Heli yeah. I'll show you the Heliopolis. That's Chat's baby. And Chat's baby is, um, I don't want to say it was stillborn, but we'll see. Okay. Got our hands on a Macros VF1 yet? We have not. I don't even know what that means. So I want to bring the line holder, but we're really missing ammo for him, so it's probably a no. An abomination. No, not an abomination. Just kind of died in the cradle, you know? When, or died in the womb, I guess. It's maybe a better way to put that. All right. Definitely want to bring the Valkyrie. Definitely want to bring the Griffin. Question is, do we wish to bring? So the beta pulse is showing its age a little bit. I'm not. I've not been very excited with the pulse boats, but I think it's still probably better than the spider, right now. Although we do lose a tag barrage, not bringing the spider. But I think that's where we're at. Difficult childhood. Yeah, maybe stillborn's wrong. Maybe um, early term child perhaps with um some serious long-term permanent damage to the brain i'm not sure this analogy might be a little morbid too um pilots are a little lacking right now take five x no no we take seven five Five is for amateurs. All right. Well, we know one thing. Dustraker is in the Valkyrie. 
Do we know any other things? All right, we do have a leader. So high accuracy is needed on the Griffin because the Griffin has a three recoil that needs to be, that ah, doesn't have a three recoil because of this. Doesn't actually, that's a lie. That's all a lie. Forget everything I said. I forgot we have um, the FCS recoil in there. Oh, we're, we have been collecting flamers and in, uh, infernal ammo as well as plasma. We are more than on board with that plan. We are actively implementing that exact plan as we speak. Oh God, our pilots are gonna suck this mission. We have two eight accuracies. I think throwing Hell Reaper in the beta pulse is okay. No, no, absolutely not. All right, I think we're gonna want accuracy on, do we need indirect fire? We don't need it. I don't, I'm not convinced that needs anything, the Heliopolis. I think that needs, I think we can run an absolute rookie in there since the accuracy is not relevant, right? Since it's all indirect fire. I'm gonna try it with all indirect fire on this thing. See how bad it goes. All right. You get eight to allies stopping out of missions. I don't know what the in the cutoff for that is. Okay. Uh, eight five eight four. Six six. Four eight five. All right. Death Crusade and double tap. Pathfinder. Oh, a lot. Uh, did I lie? I really do like the um, the ace piloting on the mid range max. Unfortunately, we are out of re well, not out of entirely really good pilots. Good morning, Lemstar. I don't know what to do about the ME6, the MEE6 notifications nerf. Like I went back, I re I logged out and logged back into their website and made sure that I had those settings notifications on. And the fact that it hasn't updated is slightly upsetting to me. Piloting three, piloting four, gunnery tactics. I think we run this here. Pericles there. Wish I had another ace pilot. I do. Chat's baby is supposedly an ace pilot with no accuracy at all. And I don't have anyone in the Brawler Pult? Who we are a little light on pilots right now, friends. A little light. Okay. All right. What could go wrong? Hey, Redhead. You fell asleep with your phone on your face. Is that like falling asleep with a book on your lap? My wife can do that. I can't do that. I don't understand even how it works. I'm reading, and then I decide to stop reading to go to sleep, so I put the book down. I'm reading, and the light's on, and I'm not going to sleep with the fucking light on, so presumably I'm going to turn the light off. Maybe I'm reading on an e-reader. So I'm reading on an e-reader and I get tired. And I just put it down because I know it shuts off on its own. That I could see, but the physical book, how does that even work? First big boy mission with the B team is scary, agreed. You stay up to two o'clock reading, but I, don't, I still, but I still don't understand the last physicals. You like, get so tired that you're like, uh, and your hand just drops. The book falls out. The phone plops onto your head and you just like lie there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I'm not judging. There's no judgment here. Just trying to figure it out.
Sounds painful, man. Sounds like a rough life. Some dad powers? Well, I don't think I'll ever be a father. Does that make chat my child? Oh, I see. Your dad powers for falling asleep doing anything. I see. I see. All right. Take it down a base is captured by Velcron ter terrorists. Fucking terrorists. We have a lance closing in on our position. We have some defensive turrets. Only way to stop the attacks entirely is to break their command and control. Okay. So this is one of those ones where the number of rounds of reinforcements is up to us to kill on, on us to how quickly we kill the base. Now we have artillery. We should be able to kill the base whenever the fuck we want. The question is really how much loot do we go for? I don't think it's entirely endless waves, but I think it's like four respawn waves. I mean, I could just fucking take this building out like in two seconds if I were so inclined. Because that's the type of commander I am. Intercept the Valkyrian attackers. Destroy reinforcement wave one, two, three. Okay. Alright. We're ready for orders. I didn't say that. Holy crap. I hate it when it auto confirms. Look at this for a stupid fucking position. One tile away from cover, which would give me fortification facing on the side. Are you insane? I doubt I can even fucking tag barrage because I'm not faced the right way. Dude, is there a way to like restart that? Bet you there is. All right, good chat, chat. Goddamn, first move, misclick. At least loads are quick in this game. <laughs> uh, the restart button, unfortunately, is broken, Colonel Stransky, like in every game. Remember in Phoenix Point, we're just up the entire difficulty of the game permanently every time you hit restart? Well, in this game, it renegotiates your salvage rights to neutral. Restart, lose all your salvage rights. Sweet. Perfect. Yeah. Some features are being implemented later. Yeah, you don't, I guess you don't technically lose out on the value of the mission. It just doesn't keep what your negotiated rights are. Is it a failed load? Of course it's a failed load. I don't, I feel a little trolled right now. Slightly, slightly trolled. Okay. Interesting Iron Man alternative. You can restart. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's right, soon TM. Did I ever finish Phoenix Point? You can see my summary on that. I played it to a point where I realized that finishing it would uh, make me hate my life, and so I stopped. I could actually, for example, in an hour and a half, give you a resource that would let you check that on your own. Announcement soon. A little tiny bit of hype. A little bit more hype. Quite a lot of hype. I'm really excited about this announcement. Soon. Soon, TM. Soon. Also, uh, this Saturday, so a week from yesterday, we're going to do the makeup stream for the missed new year's make uh missed new year's stream with frig so there'll be alcohol there'll be variety streaming there'll be lots of chat interaction there'll be my wife on stream her once a year obligation signed contractually in blood on the marriage certificate is uh being fulfilled so that's good it'll be fun we won't be playing Battletech for that, I don't think. No makeup will be applied to Filthy's face during the makeup stream. Hey. 
I didn't even thought about that. It could be a makeover makeup stream. I've had a lot of fun with those in the last the last couple of years. Those have been really good. It's going to be a little earlier. It's going to be during normal stream hours on Saturday. But, oh well. Better that than nothing. Finally get to meet the wife. She's been on a number of times. Like three or something in like five years. Basically, she's fucking elbowing in on my room a little bit here. That's what I'm saying. She needs to back the fuck off. Call her Mrs. Robot? No, she goes by Frig. All right. It is this one. It is that one. All right. Getting the rest of our mechs in. Which were the Valkyrie. The Griffin. And the Centurion. Gonna throw Duskraker in the Valkyrie. Pathfinder in the Centurion. And Pericles in Triple P. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna, I enjoy throwing her in the deep end of um, games and watching her flounder and eventually drown, um, but that's me. But we're not probably gonna do that this time. I think the plan is we are, again, this is all related to this announcement in an hour and a half, so I don't wanna spoil it too much, but um, we will be doing kind of like variety, it's not quite variety streaming, it's, um. I'll explain more later, but basically we're gonna go through a number of games in a short period of time deliberately. Um, games that have got past our tier one selection process into the tier two selection process to get some sense of whether or not they're gonna be something we wanna stream. And we're gonna do that with her on Saturday, which should be fun. How has Chat's Baby been working out? Um, I can't. I don't know if in the, the grim dark future of the MechWare universe, if uh, post-birth abortion is still legal, but certainly we're considering it. Untitled Goose Game. I actually think that would kind of be excellent for that stream and should consider that. Still League. Quad question mark. Question mark? Quad league? Yeah. Command interface initiated. All right. All right. Kind of doing what we were doing a second ago, but this time with more actual movement. Didn't take long to reset, right? Small mistakes. So I went to there facing the wrong way and want to go to here facing the correct way. Let's see what this baby can do. Hello, new contacts. Hello, new contacts, he says. It's a vehicle. It's a rhino support, rhino fire support tank. Weighing approximately one gazillion tons. 200 fucking armor in all directions. That's a reserve. Maybe even should have reserved there, but I generally like fire being directed at uh, that. Full hit point, Orion. So generally when you uh, end up against a lot of big mechs, a lot of them have reduced armor capacity to kind of um, offset the number and weight of them. It's one of the modifiers the AI can have on their stuff. It's not like a make it easier. It's just like their total tonnage has some calculation going on behind the screen. And one of the ways they can get bigger mechs with keeping their tonnage limitations intact is by running these like primitive armor kind of mech stuff. These guys are full armored. So they're gonna be nasty. They're gonna take a lot to bring down. Right, 
what is Hell Reaper piloting our pulse boat? That is a reserve. I tried the self repair, haven't managed to find a mech to get that on yet. Nope. Chat did not let me turn the Heliopolis into a ginormous brawler. They made me turn it into some fucking horrendous artillery piece capable of doing almost no damage from extremely far range. Report. Essentially turning chat's baby into uh, an allied vehicle. Ready for orders. This is the brawler bolt. Can get in a fortified position to shoot. We are master tactician on this character. We will wait then. One one wait. Who has our other tag barrage right now? I think it's on the pulse boat, I think. Okay, it's a marauder just walked into range. And shot at our fucking building. Okay. It's a heavy lance from them. I don't remember their Orion's weight. 75 ton? Yeah, 75 ton. Plus a 65 ton. Plus this fucking vehicle. Shot 50 rockets at that location. Okay, there also seems to be whatever the fuck this is and another vehicle there. Okay, that's our stub nose PPCs. It's our AC-20. This is our ER PPCs. I don't believe you that there's not a location you can get to that can shoot. So this is round 17, both their vehicles are done. All of their mechs are done. I think starting to peg their mechs with uh, PPC fire. It's what we live for. We have a king crab ally? Seriously? I thought you guys are making jokes. We sure do. King Crab Ally. I guess we're going to be facing heavy opposition here. Do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, total spread around him. We have a two thirds chance to hit, but we hit one quarter. Nice. Good to go. Can't loot allies. Ain't a thing, friend. All right. Do we want to get close? Yes. Kind of want to come at him from the side, bro. Looking out. Eighty, sixty-threes. Okay, soften him up a little bit. Hundred and fifty fucking damage to that scrub. How did it? How did it do one hundred and fifty? Each hit is for a hundred, and we hit twice. Took a hard hit there. Didn't he miss us? That notification still always throws me through a loop. Okay. All right. It's two hundred, just fifty structure after armor. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. All right. I think we're gonna be on the more PPC boat. Keep working on this guy, 48s. Okay. We've stressed the pilot. We have a heavy carrier. Is 
Is that a teammate who shot something from range and did something? The fuck does this thing launch? This thing has six Thunderbolt 10 thermals. Now, I don't know how the thermo did any damage to this guy. But he just removed an enemy. Pretty excited about that. Okay, this is our sniper. That is a very exciting realization. This is chat. Shots on the rhino. Targeting for an alpha strike. Devastating. Barrage at about a quarter of utility of the barrage from our allied vehicle. Did you hear that? For the first time ever, an allied vehicle has done more damage than one of our units. And we chose to bake this. All right, uh, okay. Receiving you. This guy also master tactician, he is. Do we want to get closer? I guess we are. Take this bold move here. Waffles down. Waffles down. Okay. Oh, we just moved into range of base defenses, apparently. Great. Uh, do we have a accuracy? We do not. So this is just a shot here at 40s and 50s. So we have eight shots here and we have 10 shots here. Let's turn the MRM off for this round. AMS AMSing our own rockets. Not sure. Does it really shoot at our own fucking rockets? Like why? I they haven't had a turn in between. Standing by. Filthy is confused. All right, we have pretty nice jump on this, but we can't fortify. I think a sprint to here is fine too. Minefield on the way. No, no, no. We're done with minefields on the way. Okay. One more tag barrage here. Overload that AMS. I'm trying to kill this thing. And the thing about the tag barrages and the artillery is, is presumably they do damage on the top. So I'm hoping not to go through this thing's armor by just essentially repeatedly tag barraging it on the top. That's the plan. Okay. Copy that. Shit. I just fired the lasers accidentally. I mean, it's only a hot biome. I'm sure an extra laser discharge for no reason whatsoever will be fine. Okay. Small losses. This tank is, um... Do I say it? Fairly tanky. Did it! Got him! Alright. Okay. Waiting for orders. Alright, we're up first. I think we can be bros. Alright, what is the wow, okay, he rolled very high though. Twenty three initiative on this guy. 1920 unknown over there maybe already moved we're 23 22 actually we're 23 23 24 23 22 19 20 19 I've actually had a lot of goes before this though although i think the only one who could do any damage to it is the 11. so we're gonna eat whatever this thing pump, pumps out towards us unfortunately since i'm not gonna go through its front armor after spending all that time going through its top armor so all right, I don't think that matters for our move here. I think our move here is still pretty scripted. I think we try to get on his flank. And then we put a bunch of rounds on his right side. What's on his right side? 
His torso, his right torso, in fact, is on his right side. Excellent. The sensor information is paid off. All that investment in sensors gives us the best and most accurate of information. We'll go for it. I think that's in... That's not an optimal. Is the Yahoo with 11? Um, might be chat. All right, I guess we're going here. Not super excited about that positioning. Let's go. We could have reserved. Maybe that would have been better. 63%. We're going to warlord this. 69%er. Let's begin. Nice. I think we reduced his structure to uh, zero. No, 50, 80, okay. But he will get to go, unfortunately. Took a guarded action, which is fine. Actually turned his vulnerable side to places we can flank fairly easily. All right. Dust Raker is easily in range of some of these things. Question is, these vehicles are very heavy. I think it might be best to reserve till after them. They're going very soon here too, so we can wait. Don't name a pilot after you. Every streamer who does has them die. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is round 22. We do have Master Tactician on this guy. We're in an acceptable position. We will wait. All right, we do have to kill that vehicle as well as that guy. Get a flank on him from here, seems pretty beautiful. Have to move first, we'll lose a little bit of stability, but not that much. Something like that looks decent. Maybe that is better, that is better. Although our guy is right in the way, maybe that. Like that. I don't know what happened with that vehicle. All right, we have shots on the side we want. Pretty good shots. Could Warlord this. Up the percentage. Get our initial heat reduction. Seems good. Big boy PPC boat. Seems pretty nice. Teammates. Okay. Not bad. Fucking up that building. Ah, uh, yeah, heavy vehicles are a bitch. They have a lot of armor and a lot of weapons. I think it's a four and a half star random Dutch dude, I think. Point the being. All right. Round 19. Has this thing gone yet? We don't know. Don't want to reserve again on Dust Raker particularly. Pericles is some of those PPCs and Adrenaline is the SRMs. Probably we can destroy this this place with the, this guy with the SRMs. 
Especially if we are willing to do a sprint with it. Okay. Melee them isn't enough. They're very heavy. And melee only does one 1.5 damage in this mod as opposed to two. Um, we would like to kill his other torso. Does not have an XL engine. Just killing his other torso is only whatever. I don't know what engine primitives do. Not a lot, if I understand correctly. I think we just go for that center torso. Okay. Seems okay. Yep, there's some objectives on the left side of the screen. That is correct. The objectives essentially equate to get the goodies. Wait, we need to do damage to it. Where did all that damage go? Now I'm confused. I thought like we just hit him like a billion fucking times. Okay. Um, apparently. We did not. Let's get closer. Minefield on the way. Fuck minefields. Okay. You'd have to read the stream title, Bernandu. All right. Called shot, center torso, fire. Okay. Okay, got him to eject. Reasonable. We have a king crab running stealth. It's a stealth crab. Okay. Our turn at 19. This guy's already gone. I'm going to try some punching. A little worried about turning my back to this guy. Too Definitely worried about turning my back there. I guess we're going for... Where's the base? The base is over here. Got a few more spawns. I think we just punched the side. Okay. Uh, can we get there now? No. What if we turn on the mask? No, the supercharger. Supercharger first. Supercharger first. Bam. Okay. Populate those sprint tiles. Okay. Can we get there now? No. Can we get to that one? All right, let's turn on the mask and enhanced imaging and the mask. Okay. All right, new tiles. There we go. Okay. Let's look at what we can attack. Yep. Oh, I can't attack from the side I want though. Can't hit him from the back. Good chance at killing it. Moderate chance at killing ourselves. Should this also be a berserk? I think it should. Okay, we're now berserker. Now when we kill this, Don't have a good reading on its armor. I think we're coming in from the front for safety's sake. We'll just begin. Okay. Targeting for physical attack. Big hit on the front. Almost killed it. Very, very close. Missed with the boomstick. But that's close enough we can probably finish it off with something else. I really didn't want to turn my back to like four turrets. What is this vehicle? A ferret. Actually, 
actually quite a lot of damage from that LRM ream. How do they calculate total views? Um, all my... I think it's unique viewers. I think it's unique viewers over... Um, did he just really fucking shoot me? Losing armor. I mean, I guess. Put me on the steady. With a shit ton of the round left to go. Thanks for nothing, teammate. Standing by. Uh, sorry, to answer your question, I'm, I'm not entirely certain is the, the long answer, the, sh the short answer. The slightly longer answer is I think that's, that's total views across all of my streaming. Um, we can get close there. We can get way closer there. This gets us an optimal. So does that. I'd like to blow this ferret up. I think we're outside of optimal range with the sprints. Definitely are. So it's probably a jump then. Alright. Okay. It's a hit, but not a kill, unfortunately. Aye, aye. All right, artillery should be able to take that out. Since we've weakened its head with like six successive rounds of damage. Pretty unexciting artillery strike. Doctor artillery strike this base too. Guess I kill the close shit. Next round, worry about the other stuff. Copy that. Are you seriously still fucking alive? Makes me grumpy in ways that I can't even begin to describe. All right. We moving, I guess. Okay. And some teammates to LRM, long range LRM spam that. Dude, we took three stab damage from our teammates shooting us after we'd already acted. Like, what a troll, troll allied decision making thing there. It's a very powerful weapon, but it's fucking dangerous. Okay, we lost the initiative roll. Assassin's very quick. Lost the initiative roll. A couple locations here. That's probably a knockdown. Not quite. Yeah, it's really scary. Um, all right, so we're on fire and we're unstable. Is our move, we will need to move. Flames on the way, it kind of sucks. If we, oh, hold on. Let's turn off things that blow us up. God, we were in such a fine spot until our allies shot us. And we are not going to be okay with this heat. I don't really want to attack this thing from the side. Although maybe. Maybe something like that's good for us. Flames on the way. What does a jump look like?
No flames in the way. Fucking allies. Terrifying. Okay, ammo explosion avoided. Good. Heat's pretty rough because our ally nuked us with six thunder thunderbolt fucking heat uh, increases. Got our evasion back though. Got our fortification. We're in cover, so it's sixty percent damage reduction. Plus, I think our shield is another ten, so we have pretty good damage reduction there. We're still at reasonable amounts of armor, so hopefully we're okay. How is the strategic depth of this compared to XCOM? The unit customization is like factors, like magnitudes beyond uh, XCOM unit customization uh, in terms of your mechs. Um, the map on the, it suffers from some of the same issues that XCOM does. The individual opponents are not particularly smart. Uh, makes up for that by numbers in similar ways XCOM does. Yep. The mod is definitely way better than the base game for any sort of challenge. Okay, we have an Ultra AC here. I think this is a reserve kind of moment. Do we have Master Tacticians? There we do. So we'll hang on. Let's get some damage on Beta Pulse there. All right, Death Crusade is in our extended range PPCs. Uh, tagging the Assassin is reasonable. 55 shot, it's okay, why so bad? Height, medium range, target moved, target terrain. I don't think we're getting better in this though, so we'll take them. I think we hit him once. I guess it also depend on which XCOM you're comparing to. If you're comparing to Long War versus comparing to um, Vanilla, tough to answer that question a little bit more. This vehicle gets to attack us. Nope, it's to attack the base. Ally doing nothing. Is that the crab too? I'm sure. What are these numbers rolling off? Why am I not seeing appropriate number damage here? Those were like six tens or something, but we didn't actually take that damage. Is that the AMS doing damage to missiles? Very good to kill this thing. Awaiting orders. We are an ace pilot. We can shoot then move. That's pretty perfect. Roger that. Pulse bolt failing me. All right, let's move to the forest. I wonder about retiring our pulse boat. Every time I use it, I'm just a little bit dissatisfied with it. Never does quite as much alpha as I'm expecting. Okay, here comes the crab. The crab deployed a UAV, ending his turn. That's a 100 ton mech that just UAV'd for its entire turn. 
maybe it's not quite a hundred, but it's pretty damn close if it's not a hundred. Worst crab ever. It's troll that they even fit UAVs on that that mech. There's no reason for it to have a UAV. It's scared here. I'm gonna actually reserve because I'm pretty certain this guy goes next at 15. I want to run over there, take that position, and launch rockets at the assassin. But I'm pretty sure if I get too close to this thing, uh, my teammate will put a million, fucking million pieces of heat on us and screw us. I uh, go to there. Seems okay. It's a little outside optimal. That's blocked. That's in optimal, but a little bit close. Okay, I guess we're reserving on both of them. That's fine. Who was that? Was that the carrier? Just reading chat when that happened. I'm not sure if that was the carrier or not. Circles are annoying. I don't find them annoying at all. They're information for me. I think this is on, yeah, it's on medium circles. Medium circles is fine. I could turn them off. They, they provide a lot of info. That was the carrier. All right, well. I guess we're going to start dealing with this vehicle. I was really hoping this vehicle would be dead and gone by now. It does not appear to be the case. No shooting, just so I guess we're going to waste some shots on its fucking armor. Damn. Yeah. So that was a rocket that does damage to us based on our the health, the heat of our mech. The only reason why our mech is this hot is because of allies. Yes, Commander. Feels bad. Okay. This is our artillery piece. We could start demolishing the base. Seems reasonable. I also was hoping to kill this thing, but... I mean, I guess if we have 20 more rounds, we can take care of that base from here. What do you think, chat? Value town on this mech? All right, who are we working with? MRM's here. I can't really get close enough to do what I want to do. Ah, is that in optimal or just outside? Not entirely certain. Go to here. We have a better jump. No. Okay. Here it is. Fifties there, eighties there. This thing dies with not that much damage. Is it worth taking it out? Probably. We have split shot? We do. This is an okay split shot moment. Alright. Uh, what's the damage on the assassin? I would like to see hit percentages on the assassin. 50s. I think the streak has slightly better range. Maybe not. Okay. The HMRM is going towards the assassin. And I think the I think I want to make sure this dies, so we'll use the MRM improved here and then throw the um the MRM ten. Okay, like that then. Seems okay. Alright, well, that was the opposite of what I predicted the outcome of that firing would be. 
This guy survived with a fair amount of HP, which is kind of annoying. All right, I guess we're snub nose PP seeing him. That's fine. Do we want to shoot right side? Absolutely not. We want to shoot him in the face. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of crazy he didn't take any front damage. It makes no sense. We shot him directly from the front. More heat added to um, Redshift. This is new round. I'd like this vehicle out of the way. Flames along the way recommends a jump. We're a little bit unstable, which is not great. We will get add to our instability by jumping, but reduce our heat. And live with that. I can vigilance here if we wanted to. Um. Our stability is two. Are we running a, is it a pilot issue? No, we have Dreadnought. Oh, Dreadnought is when I walk, I gain stability. If I just walked, I would have taken the heat, but I've gotten the stability. All right, it's kind of annoying. Jammed on the HRM, we'll take this shot here. Oh, is what weapon? So we got a, is that a bulwark bonus right now? Cover forest, bulwark. Okay, so our we did get to dig in a little bit there. I don't think we got entrenched, but we got the rest of it. Orders. All right, uh, I don't think there's any point in using him right now. There's nothing in range to use, so we'll wait. Damn it. I'm wounded. Just splashing Dust Raker repeatedly with these fucking heat things before he can move. So frustrating because it all started with our fucking teammate doing this to us. Commander. All right, 19. This is now. I'm not sure if the SRM carrier is gone yet. We're quite high on heat right now. You can get frontal shots on the carrier. Probably at close enough range. Okay. Affirmative. Enhanced imaging is what's causing the pilot damage. That's good news. I should turn that off then. Is that how it works with the Guardian, uh, with the enhanced imaging? You take damage when you're overheating? I did forget to turn it off last round. That could be on me. Awkward, okay. Hydro LRM ammunition. So we've got snub nose here. I don't think I can actually get in range to do anything with it. This is gonna be a long time out though at two damage, pilot damage taken. Oh God. More UAVs? No. You just moved forward and ended your turn. Yeah. King Crab allies. Pretty incredible. Yeah. Do we have PPC shot here? We do not. 
It's a good turn to do cooldown, though. Can live with that. Okay. Just hit my own guy again. Taking heavy hits, Commander. That vehicle is very powerful and very dangerous. That one. No, that one hasn't gone yet. That was this one. I don't know if that hit me or not. Killed the vehicle. All right, I guess we're just striking the base again. I can't take much more of this. <laughs> what, doing something? Moving to position. All right, so we need to turn off enhanced imaging because apparently it's causing brain damage to us. I need, to, I need to read that mod again after this. Okay. And we can't walk out of here without flames on the way. So I'm pretty sure a jump is what we need to do. Now, our heat is really bad here, and we have fucking boomsticks in here. Do we have a case on this mech? I don't remember if we do or don't. Uh, I think we are our arms case us, right? So is this cheap? Okay, what does this do for heat? Small reduction lights us on fire. Gotta get out of here. Shut down. It's pretty bad news. Wow. All right, new round. That had mask on. It did not have mask on. Dude, that thing is dangerous. Yep. Commander. Thirties. Ouch. Too bad I already tapped the vigilance, because I'd be happy just to end turn here without doing that. Okay. Okay, this pilot needs to walk away. Need to vent a lot of heat. That heat barrage thing they've got going on is ridiculous. Look how much heat it causes.
Is that cheaper than if I walk? Sure is. Okay. Alright, we need to walk here, but not run. Nice to get in range to shoot something. Don't really want to run over flames. I guess I could jump and then fortify. Okay, kind of crazy mission. Good, that's what we wanted. Much higher difficulty missions. It's a side shot, it's a melee. Unexpected, okay. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. I'm hit. Still getting hit. The imaging is off. I think that's a t portion of their oh so much has ended a stream it's got a big fucking viewer hike hey guys you don't know battle tech battle tech is a turn-based strategy where you command mech warriors we are fighting a fairly challenging mission at the moment Let's see what comes of this all right they need to stop shooting dust raker i can't get his heat down every time he gets hit he's taking damage i think it's a side effect of even the thing being around All right, we have a shot here. 42 is pretty rough. Why so bad? Medic armor. I don't think ECCM helps versus that, but we should definitely check it out if it does. It's a plus three for them right now. I think that did actually help. No, didn't. Height terrain, target moved. 42% armor of three. Yeah. Maybe very slightly, but not en not enough to be something I care about. All right, um, minefield on the way, of course. Okay. Got one of them. Oh god. All right, we have shots on this at 42%. I'm trying to get in a position where I can't hit my own allies from this. So presumably something like that's a little bit better. On my way. Crab doing something, we're not entirely certain what. Like an artillery strike. Losing armor. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Is this the teammate screwing us? No, that's good. Awaiting orders. 
All right, our sniper piece. Slowly whittling down the objective. Very slowly. It's a lot of tonnage for such a little impact. All right, we're shut down wounded. I don't think we can restart until we get under, right? Oh, I forgot to check if this thing was still on. Surely when it shuts down, it turns the thing off though, right? did Zoe inside except for everyone in chat who was demanding that I build it that way uh, we can auto cannon his back we have to rotate to do it we took some moderate damage on our right arm nineteen on the initiative so we have Pericles going before him Hell Reaper going before him. That's probably it. I'll use my cover bonus. Mm -hmm. Let's take, say we took a sprint at him. Through the minefields. There's a lot of enemies over that way. Do you need to do some cat damage to this? Can walk to like there. Sprint to there. I don't, I want left side facing preferably. Hill has been ugly for our PPCs, especially with all the fire they placed down around here. It's very difficult to move. Get a back shot over here somewhere. So if we say flames on the way and we live with it, okay. Rotate like that. Not sure if that's still optimal. Pretty good. All right, let ourselves on fire. That was exciting. Shots in here. Seventy-nine percent. Currently have no heat, so doing a warlord here is a little rough for us. We lose accuracy turning on vigilance, but if we stand here like this, we're gonna fucking die. Okay. Two hits to his back. Okay. Did he hit me? I think he may have hit my left side with that. Fucking allies, dude, are insanely dangerous. I don't want allies having big weapons. Like, it's insane, like, how much damage they're doing to me. Standing by.
from that fire certainly did not help. Be really nice to kill this guy. Uh, there's a shot there. If I jump to mines and flames... shoot him but not super useful it's just damage that's not really going to do a lot On my way. Double time. to turn off a couple of these I guess technically we could knock him over here in which case, my allies will blow me up with their AoE attacks for sure. Cat's damage because the Athena punched it? I hope so. Okay. Target destroyed. I think he ejected at full. He also lit this guy on fire. I might have walked in there. I'm not entirely certain. Commander. All right, we're on fire here. We need to relocate. These jump jets on this are a little bit lackluster. I don't think it was a headshot. I think he panic ejected, but I'm not entirely certain. I didn't see the loadout, the, the whatever it was. All right, we gotta baby this arm. If we go forward here. Which we could, it needs to be rotated that way. Way out of optimal there. On my way. Okay. So we get entrenched for... But entrenched is not... Oh, we got bulwark. Alright, I guess we can just take some shots at this guy. Start softening him up. Hello, question mark. Hello. No question mark. Hello, exclamation point. Orders. All right, restarting again. Still didn't check if his fucking mask is on. If I blow up at the end of this mission for the mask and have to redo this mission because I can't remember to turn off mask, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Keep forgetting to check. I assume it turns it off. All right, so we can strike the base one last time. Okay. We got one of those buildings, but not more than one. We have a sprint spree speed of approximately 1,000 tiles. Let us begin. Reinforcements inbound. So we're getting the first reinforcement wave. That's fine. Well, it's not really fine, but it's going to happen. So we're getting it. 
hostile drop zone. heat on us annoyingly unsettled no more ejecting out of my max okay this is clearing the landmines it's about all of the allied behavior we can expect Overlapping AMS, good for that. Okay. Yeah, I, I would love to use my artillery piece to go after their uh, weaker vehicles in the back that are doing damage to us, but I can't. Because right now they're they're fuck was that? It's a leg shot for over a hundred. that thing call itself a long tom yeah it's an artillery piece okay all right not entirely certain what to do about this amount of mechs it's a kraken a catapult a cyclops thumper artillery piece the long tom artillery piece a marauder okay heavy mission all right, I don't really know that this guy can be here right now. I certainly seem to be unable to actually do damage right now. I don't have anything that can withstand the hits. Oh, we are um, taking out the base. We've been working on it. We'll continue to work on it. Maybe our teammate will get in a position where he can take some hits for us, because that'd be ideal. I think we have a lot of utility out of this guy right now. I don't want to clump up too much. I do need some other targets for them, but I don't think this is one of them. Okay. Well, I have a tag barrage up. Fuck, should have thought of that a second ago. I just saw it. There's a lot of damage to vehicles. Killing those vehicles off would be great. Armor. 
Okay. Um, we're not really happy about this position. Jump is not enough to get back out of this. Well, that sucks. Uh, which side is weak? Left side, we need to show right side. I'd love to have a fortified location to jump to. Possibly there. Okay. He still hasn't restarted yet. Can we activate this right now? Off, off, but still on a fail chance. Off, fail chance. Why? They're all off. All right, we have our artillery strike again. We could take a moment to do that. The new reinforcement wave is next round. Do we have to get rid of these fucking artillery pieces? Feels really relevant. But how many more rounds is this shit? Probably two more rounds. It's the only way to strike it. Kind of works. Taking the top. Didn't kill shit. Continues to be my favorite weapon system yet. Okay. Roger that. Shit, Commander, a Valkyrian Leopard just dropped another lance. Yes. Agreed. How heavy. Basilisk Catapult Ghost Bandit. Feels not great. Oh, they start with 28, 27, 27, 28 initiative. Okay. Early hit is 46 heat. Damage minimal. All right, who was that who just got fucking slaughtered in heat? Our quad PPC boat. This is our Ultra AC Auto Cannon AC20. We need to start doing serious damage to their front ranks. The stuff that's flanking us right now. I can get side shots but not back shots on this shit. Alright, where are the targets? There's one here. The red chat is what we're looking at here. One there, one there, one there, one here. Oh, 
How can I move here? I walk down there? Where is this character? Oh, this character's here. I see. No, this is, pa this is not. This is there. Okay. I can get side shots on this catapult. That's not a catapult, it's a basilisk, whatever that is. I can't, I don't know if I can take this spot though, chat. Like I can get the this flank, but I don't think I can do it without totally exposing myself to back flank. And I don't think I can follow up with it either, right? Like, who else can get in an angle to shoot that? Although it would be a fucking glorious hit. What I'm thinking instead is maybe coming at it from the side with like two to three stacked up in kind of a line that way. Uh, this guy does not have ace pilot, so he cannot fire then move. He has to move then fire. So I was kind of thinking like, There maybe. Light on fire is a little not particularly relevant to this this guy. Uh, both arms are getting a little precarious. Okay. Need this king crab to get in a location where it's doing something. Somehow shot me in the fucking left arm. Sucks. Panicked. Haven't had to mess with that shit yet. I wonder how dumb it is. Alright, uh... Be really nice to get a tag barrage over there. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. I don't think we can get to a position where we can do damage either. If we're not close. It's presumably something like this. Really need to get in range to melee, but apparently, apparently damage to the pilot reduces stats is that correct kind of looks like it piloting's at seven it's normally at eight or nine and what are our overload chances they're actually not if it's still at seven seven's okay Let's take a look at the failure chances at seven. Uh, okay. Oops, that's the wrong bookmark. Take a look at the failure chances at seven. Activatable equipment failure chances. Mask at seven is 10% round two. Uh, overcharger at seven is 5% at level at two turn. So we can get away with it, kinda. So this is probably a reserve and wait then.
He's gonna panic in about one fucking second here. Need to get him out of there. Okay. Took severe damage on Triple P. That's where we want to go. Left side facing is so bad. All right, where's the sprint? Uh, this person does have, no, does not have ace pilot. like that Five. 35s are so bad why so bad target move plus 10 okay Five. good bizzer good to know King Crab has now used another turn to UAV. Recon on the king crab exactly what we need from a king crab. Standing All right, uh, the medium pulse is here Flames along the way probably just a jump then Needs to be something like that Even possibly there where's my uh That's optimal. That's optimal too. That's optimal. Okay. Can I sprint there without lighting everything on fire? No. So it's got to be a jump. Okay. Seventies are okay here. Firing on Scored a critical hit. Commander. All right, this guy has to get out of here and really needs to get out and fortify. Left side is fucked. It's decent. Exposes a lot of back to them. I hate that I can't do any firing here, but this person is panicked. Don't know what to do about low, uh, like panel panic. Okay, flames along the way. So we can't move. Can shoot then jump. We'd have to shoot and trench and shoot. Vigilance then jump. That would work. Although that side is useless to us. So potentially, because we got to get um. Un. Um, these we're destabilized really badly right now. It's going to cause too much heat doing this. We get a Warlord shot out of it, though. Need to be out of these flames. OK. 
Okay. And it's Vigilance. Warlord. Shoot. 27s. Alright. So we have spread that out a little bit. It is possible to do something here. Possibly a punch. I'm not sure what it would take to get there. Commander. So the mask is cheaper than the snow. Supercharger is cheaper in terms of failure chances. Uh, I think that's very close. I don't actually think it's there. So I need to get my attack option available to me. It's not giving it to me right now. There it goes. Okay, that's the attack we need from there with the boomstick on. Okay. Okay. That's good. Berserk would have been a good thing. I already forgot about it. Commander. Okay, we have our last round of artillery fire that we can direct somewhere else. Did that stupid thing spread out again? I was. Where's the one we were killing? We don't know how much health this thing has left. It's really hoping to get rid of some of those heat generating artilleries, but I don't know how I can do that. So I think what we need to do here is start, is continue to wail on the, um, these maybe should be EL. We might have to get rid of these LRMs and make these ELRMs 15s because this this has not been in range to shoot, and it's this this means that these have been totally wasted. It's like th a hard hit there. this is the most underwhelming weapon I've ever used. We do need to kill those buildings because the additional reinforcement waves are going to kill us. We still don't really have anything big enough to take these hits. Yeah, it would have been really nice if we'd spent those 20 days traveling to make this fucking into a monster frontline tank as opposed to whatever the fuck we ended up doing with it. Can we not have fire everywhere constantly on all of my units every single round? Jesus. It makes every turn a nightmare to move because I can't walk and I can't sprint. It means every move is a jump. And jumping fucks your um your stability. Alright. Good to go. I rolled a seventeen. Uh, we cannot move and shoot. This is our last round of Ultra AC ammo. Left side's okay. Maybe forward. Shots on this. Can probably down it before it can act. 
Where's my uh, auto cannon range? I think we're out of it there. Yeah, I gotta be a little bit closer. That one might work. It's exposes left side pretty brutally. Okay. Alright, we'll warlord it. Take the shots. Alright. Knocked him down. Took off one of his legs. Fucks his initiative. Maybe. Okay, we've got two allies with pretty high rolls on initiative. 20 on the King Crab, which probably means we're going to get a pretty sweet UAV check here. And then a 24 on the Centurion, whose turn it actually is right now. It's a downed enemy target that I would like them to destroy. I'm liking the difficulty changes. Yeah, I am. I don't know how we're going to deal with mech bay on this though, because we can't run. We're only going to make to run like one of these every like 20 days. He's decided to melee the bandit. Unexpected, certainly. Oh, and he's done it in such a way to expose his back to the entire enemy team. Bold. All right. Can get pulse on this guy. She has some locations here that don't get flames on the way. I think that's okay. Ninety nines. Do we know if he's got engine in this torso piece? He does. So we want to go for that. Engaging target. All right. Excellent. Yes, yay indeed. That's a big kind of a big deal having that out of our back lines here. Good. Chat doing something for once. No, no, it didn't get past anyone's armor and no one's losing lots of armor. We took like 4 damage. A pretty intense mission. I'm really pleased with it, actually. All right, we have PPCs here. Uh, no, we don't. We apparently are not actually in. We have to rotate to do that. Rotate counts as a move, I believe. I don't mind backing up a little, trying to spread out, try to dodge some of this shit that's coming our way. These are actually really good shots for us. Okay. Actually scoring some PPC hits for once is really nice. Oh look, you got two shot because you went to melee as a guy with non-melee fucking fitted shit and turned your back to an assault mech plus three others.